Hello everyone. When I first saw the Kindly Thoughts papers by Nitwits, which is one of their newest collections, I thought they looked quite nice for Easter because they're quite springy colours without being too childlike. So what I've made is a pinwheel uh, box which locks itself so you don't need any ribbon or anything like that but you can add it and they're perfect for a bunch of mini eggs so I'm going to show you how I made this so we need our envelope punch board and I've got my scoring board as well and the cardstock I use, I get asked quite often, what do I print on? It's actually an unbranded lightweight cardstock, which I get from the range. So it's 100 sheets for £4, and it's a 160 GSM. So it's just plain white cardstock, and there's just this piece of paper then down the side of the pack. So what I've done is, I've printed off a plain paper in the yellow, and then a nice bold one from the back. So you want something that's going to contrast because the back is going to come uh, to the front. So here I use the yellow paper with a blue. So this time I've gone for the blue flowers with a yellow back. Now because this is a printed paper, just be uh, mindful you've got that white border which is going to be different on the back. So when you trim it, make sure you've got the white off from both sides. So you can see, I've actually cut quite a bit of the blue side, but only a little bit of the yellow. So if I'd gone by just the blue, I would have had a white piece showing. So just trim off a little bit more than you think. So I'm cutting this down to six by six. And I'm going to grab my envelope punch board and we're going to line up our corner. Should bring you in a little bit to two and a quarter. So two and a quarter punch and score. So you've got a score line that comes down diagonally here and then at three and a quarter, so it's two and a quarter and three and a quarter, so quite easy to remember, and score. So we're going to turn it round, and again, two and a quarter, and score, three and a quarter, and score, again, two and a quarter, and score, three and a quarter, punch and score, and the last one, punch and score. Okay, there's our waist. So I don't know how well it's going to show here. But each of our corners has got like a long piece, a short piece, and a square. Now, just like we would do when making our um, boxes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that square into a tab. So those two small bits are being cut off. Leaving a tab. So I'm going to do the same on this side. So what you can do is just cut down those two score lines. And cut them off. It may help if you score them. That's there. 
So I've left the square piece and then just sort of miter it just to make it easier later on. And I take off a bit of the end as well. So what I've done is those complete squares I had have now been turned into a tab. I'm going to do the same on this side. So make it a tab. We can cut off up to that score line. And again, yeah. Cut off that bit tab and cut down this score line to meet that score line. So I've now got four tabs and a sort of a cross shape. So I'm gonna bring my score tool and I'm going to just gently score, not too harshly, you don't want to rip the paper. Each of my lines. As you can see, the flower pattern I've got on the outside of my box. It's up to you if you want to do it the other way around. As I say, that yellow is going to make our pinwheel. So I'm going to bring in my scoreboard. I'm going to put one of these corners into the corner. And we're going to go to one, two, three, four, the fifth channel along, which is my five eighths. And I'm going to score down. And we should meet that score line that's coming diagonally there. Flip it round. Five eighths again. Five eighths, and the last one, five eighths. So what we're going to do is fold them back. So that yellow now is going to come to the front. And that is your box made. We're just going to attach some tape. You could use wet glue, which will probably hold it better. But for quickness, I'm just gonna use my strong tape. Take them all off. In fact, I've got my glue here. This will just make sure it goes up to the edges. And just bring the corners up. Just like you would a normal box. So that strong tape has held it for now. That glue will dry then in time. So before you fold it up, you will want to put your sweets in. Let's have a few more. So you can actually fit quite a few in here. And you're gonna start at the top and you're just going to work your way round clockwise till you get to the last one. And the last one, you're just going to tuck underneath the first one. No, I've done that one wrong. You want. And then the last one, 
tucks in that way. So you want that yellow showing up. Okay. And so all those interlocking pieces have kept the box shut. So it's just a small little thing. Great if you've got your 12 by 12 papers because you'd actually get four of these boxes out of one piece. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon with another project. So if you do have a go with these, please head to Paper Crafting with Paul on Facebook and show me your version and show me what it looks like in different papers.